Today we have the pleasure of speaking uh, with the Member of Parliament, the, the Honorable Francesco Sorbara, for, uh, Member of Parliament for Bonn Woodbridge. Welcome, Francesco. Thank you, Antonio. It's great to be here at TLN. Well, we are a multicultural media company, so we are very interested in uh, your family's immigration story. My mom came through Pier 21. Uh, my father later joined her uh, via Australia. But Canada has provided the Italian Canadian community a lot of opportunity to grow, to succeed, not only on uh, the creation of wealth and good jobs, but to have a great future and a great future for families. Speak to us about your involvement in the community and about your writing. I am the chair of the uh, Canada-Italy uh, Intraparliamentary Group. I was just in Italy uh, leading a delegation uh, of parliamentarians meeting with our Italian counterparts and seeing how ways, determining ways that we can strengthen the bonds between Canada and Italy. That is something very important. We have a strong economic relationship, we have a very strong cultural relationship, and we need to maintain that. And that requires attention, it requires time. Um, is there any particular plan in, uh, in place for, for Vaughan Woodbridge or for Canada that you're working on? Yes, uh, we are uh, working on a revised, what's called Youth Mobility Agreement in the International Experience class uh, with uh, the Immigration Minister, with the Prime Minister's office, with the Italian government to revise this agreement. And this agreement will provide for the Italian community and for the Canadian, young Canadians wishing to work in Italy. Uh, and we're almost there. The court is almost done. It's, it's, the Prime Minister uh, commented uh, uh, to it during his visit to Vaughan for Italian Heritage Month. And we're almost there. And, and we'll be very, very happy to announce the, the final accord, hopefully in, in the days, if not weeks, to come. Canada World TV was rejected by CRDC. I'm sure you know about it and the same license was awarded uh, to a billion dollar company with no uh, uh, diverse uh, governance, I would say. Do you have an opinion about that? Well, what I would, uh, would like to say on, on that issue is we need to ensure uh, a robust multicultural programming for all our communities in Canada. And we always need to look at those providers that can best provide that content, that multicultural content at the local level. We need to make sure that we're supporting our independent providers, our smaller providers. Uh, we need to ensure that the audiences are receiving the content that they deserve to receive. Very personal question. Sure. What's your Italian food? Uh, you know, my favorite Italian food? I think right now, pasta la matriciana. Best place in Italy? Uh, Calabria, of course. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.